Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad and uh, in this uh, video we're gonna check into the 15th of uh, June 2022 and uh, should any of you be interested in a personal reading with me or uh, if you do want to take my tarot classes uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find at least a link to my website where you can check all of my services and as well their pricing so with that said uh let's see what the day has in store for us the first card of the day that's uh, going to be the ten of uh, cups followed by the second card of the day uh, that stands as the queen of swords and the final card of the day uh, we do have the ten of pentacles these uh, these three cards for what it seems and that's going to be really good day really good one so these are the three cards for the day the one thing that i love about today and these cards it is that we will be satisfied we will end up all right let's use that word happy uh that is uh, for a reason being that today we will actually understand our blessings and even more so we will see things happening to us even if these things are unpleasant we will see the blessing in disguise into those uh, into those things and for that uh, particular reason I cannot think of almost anything that can literally ruin our day. Well, now I can think of certain stuff that can ruin our day. Uh, but the the generic, the mundane uh, manifestation of environment, it's, it's not going to be able to ruin our day in any way. So let's talk about some things which are more tangible now today. People who are depressed are likely to revitalize for according to these cards for one or another reason. That is because the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of uh, Cups being together, they kind of like throw an, an enormous value into life. And suddenly you may snap out of your, um, for example, depression or what is that state when you uh, pretty much you have no interest into anything. OK, you may snap out of that of that state or we are to snap out of that state and see that actually our life kind of worth its living okay we either slowly progressively or all of a sudden there will be something there that that words our attention and that words we're looking forward to it to its development to its uh <clears throat> to its nurturing and of course to its uh, to its reward which is going to bring at the end because make no mistake guys there are going to be rewards at the end today as well it's going to be a great day because we are not going to see the problems with the magnitude that we saw them before or in other words we are likely to find a safe heaven and a very comfortable position toward the person that makes the 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 do trouble or rather like that makes trouble for us um <clears throat> the entity that it is troublesome to us or the project that it is troublesome to us it's just we will be able to set ourselves in that sweet spot where although the troubles are not going to be uh we are not going to be out of the um not out of the blue but they're not going to be out of our way yet but we definitely had dodged some uh, some bullets out of the woods was the word, was the expression that I was searching for. So we ain't gonna be out of the woods yet, but we are getting there. Also, today's day is gonna be great for us investing, especially emotionally, into friendship, into a romantic relationship, or into something we love to do. Because according to these cards, that investment is going to do two things. First is going to um, not just only make us feel comfortable, but as well, it's going to have its its benefits. It's just it's going to have return. And the second thing it is that when we do invest into something we love and like, which is only ours, then we start becoming more independent. 
another thing of today as well it is that we can in interact with someone that it is from our past now that doesn't necessarily mean uh that is gonna be x or something like that in fact by the look of these cards which are a hey, these two cards it's going to be a person we lost in touch for a very long time that we had a really good time with them okay and now for one or another reason or today we get a text message from them or we just kind of like accidentally bump into them on the street and it is it will be a really really pleasant experience and uh, the other elemental dignity that we do have here which is this one Okay, the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Well, that is about uh, either a specific person or a group of people which are pushing us in a certain way. And uh, I love that, that manifestation of the cards because today is the day where we are going to realize that it doesn't have to be that way. Okay. You know, we don't have to do it. We can, but we don't have to. We can do it whatever they're pushing us to in a different way, or we may not do it at all. It is just that we will realize that is something, yeah, it's good to have it, but we don't need it in one or another way. And that will allow us to kind of like escape of that power struggle that is going on around us. And these people or that person is not going to have that much influence on us anymore and they will not going to be able definitely they are not going to be able to ruin the day for us so it, the, the, these cards has a huge spectrum of uh, of manifestation and uh, one is certain that today is going to be a pleasant day because if nothing else, we will realize how blessed we are, no matter how much we, how much or how little we have. Also, snapping out of this uh, state where we don't want to do anything and nothing feels appealing, and the investment—that is the strongest thing of the day. That emotional investment of ours uh, toward a particular activity or a person, which not just only going to make us feel comfortable but also is going to have its returns. So with that said, guys, this is the daily tarot guidance or the daily dose of tarot. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.